welcome to 25 Days of Animal Facts. Today we're going to be talking about bobcats. Bobcats got their name from their bobbed tail, as you can see on this mount here. And a lot of people get bobcats confused with lynx. And if we're being honest, it's probably because the bobcat is actually a type of lynx. That said, not all lynxes are bobcats, but all bobcats are technically lynx. There are stark differences between what we call the lynx, though, and what we call the bobcat. Size alone is going to be one of the bigger indicators you're going to see. Bobcats are actually North America's smallest native feline. But just because they are smaller does not mean they're not impressive. As you can see by their teeth here, yes, they are carnivores, and they can even sometimes go after prey larger than themselves. They live on kind of a feast and famine cycle, so when they eat, sometimes they really need to eat. And bobcats have even been seen taking down deer. While a bobcat is going to be larger than just about any house cat you're going to find, it's still pretty impressive that they can take on a large ungulate like that. Bobcats are nocturnal and they're rather elusive. One thing that's interesting is with their tracks. You'll notice if you can see this on here, um, they don't leave their claws behind because they do have those retractable claws, just like our house cats. And they practice what's called single tracking. So their hind foot will fall into the footprint that their forelimb leaves behind. So when they're walking along, you're gonna see like one set as opposed to seeing the front foot and back foot. These crafty carnivores are always on the move. It's uncommon for them to spend more than one night in the same den. Um, they'll make their dens out of like rotted out logs, crevices in rocks, even little caves. Um, but they do have very defined territories. Females will usually not let other bobcats, especially other females, into their territory unless it is mating season and they're looking for a mate. While males may have a little bit of overlap in their territories. Also, bobcats are what's known as ambush predators, meaning that they rely on sneaking up on their prey and then pouncing as opposed to chasing it down. And bobcats are pretty widespread. They are limited to North America, but they can be found in a wide variety of ecosystems. Also, there's 12 different subspecies of bobcats out there. I hope that you were able to learn something new or interesting about this wonderful wild feline. And as always, I encourage you to look up more facts about them.